Hey there, and thanks for tuning in. In this video of our backyardscape, I'll walk you through how we strung lights without the use of a tree. Since we've had a few different houses, there have been a few different ways that we've set this up. So I'll walk you through how we did it with this house. The things that you're going to need are PVC pipe, regular poles. You can get any kind of pole with some length to it. We ended up getting some fence poles from Lowe's. They're a little bit thicker in metal. And I'll share a link in the description to show you where we got it. You want to get a hacksaw so you can cut the PVC at an angle. You want a measuring tape to make sure that all of the poles are about the same size across the backyard. You'll want some S hooks to hang the lights. You'll definitely want your lights as well. Possibly have an extension cord if you don't have the outlet nearby. You also want a mini sledgehammer or something that's easy to have a little heft so that you can pound in the PVC pipe. And finally, you'll want a ladder so that you can get up and place the lights on once you've put the poles in the hole. As you can see here, we are using the hacksaw to cut the PVC. You'll want to do an angle on one end to make it easier when you're pounding it into the ground. You'll do that for as many poles as you need. For this setup, we needed something about 15 feet apart. So we have three poles that we're setting up in our backyard. And we will be using our house on the other end to attach the lights to as well. Before we hang the lights, you'll want to make sure you go ahead and plug them in before to make sure that they're all working and change out any light bulbs that aren't working. We have a ground level deck, so we're going to set up holes in different areas around our deck. And this is what it looks like when we've pounded it in. As you can see, it's down below the decking, so it's hidden a little bit. Once the PVC is in place, you can put the pole in the PVC and it should be secure. Now you just have to do that for our project. We just have to do that two more times. And now you see that we have the poles ready. For us, the next step is to install the lights. We started up against the house first, and now we're going around to install the lights. We have an S hook at the top and an end cap to keep it all in place. And then we have our QC to let us know if we did a good job or not. And then this is the final result of what it looks like at night with everything turned on. All in all, the project took about an hour and that includes taking video and chatting and just talking about how we wanted to get it all set up. Did you find this video helpful? If you did, we'd appreciate it if you gave us a like or gave us a comment down in the below to let us know how your project turned out. And thanks for watching.